We are testing the Hornady XTP 230 grain jacketed hollow point in 45 ACP plus P using the SimTest Media calibrated to ballistic gel specs with four layers of denim. Test gun is the Colt 1911 government model. I'm going to quickly break this down into a couple of different components. First is the cartridge and or bullet itself. Hornady manufactures the XTP and it's also available for reloading in a variety of calibers. Anything from 32 caliber all the way up to 50 A&E and the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. So quite a few applications for it there. They note on the website that it has a heavier jacket and that we should expect, anticipate, approximately 1.5 times expansion when compared to the base diameter. So we're looking at about a 68 or 70 caliber slug in this test. That's what they're saying and I, I really think we're going to have more than that. This is not a bonded bullet by the way. Now with regard to the 45 plus P, what is that all about? Your typical 45 ACP loads are coming in at 21,000 PSI. This is rated at 23,000 PSI. It's about 10% higher. So you're going to ask, well, is that safe to shoot in my handgun? Whether or not it's a 230 grain or maybe a 185 or 200 grain load that's coming in at plus P. Well, newer handguns in 45, you should be okay, such as this uh, Series 80 government model from Colt. But if you do have an older Colt, or say an example, another 45 ACP, you might want to check with the manufacturer just to make certain. With regard to velocities, advertised is 950 feet per second. My five shot average is 896. So that's about 6% less than they're advertised. And the low shot was 874, and that's about 8%. So that puts us back down around so-called non-plus P lows. Does any of this make any difference? I don't know. We'll find out in just a second. loud. Picture perfect shot placement and it's in the block. That's always a good start to these tests. Okay, tail of two halves. This is the left side. I'll show you some of both. About an inch in we start to see some uh, expansion. Isn't that interesting there? And then some stress. You can see the discoloration in the media. And this stretch cavity starts about here and runs for just over four inches. You can see how the pedals are cutting a path or their own channels through this, through the media. Now I lost the track as I'm cutting above the top of this and I made just a slit. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, look how deep that is. I just opened up a little bit of a slit so you could see that trail and the bullet ended right there. That's the indentation on this side of the track when I split it and flipped it, the bullet stayed on this side, so there it is. There's both tracks together, and the bullet stopped. The front is at 14.75 inches. Let's get some close-ups. I'll take it out for you in just a moment, and I guess that's what they call controlled expansion. The pedals have peeled all the way back to the base of the bullet. I'm not seeing any denim. I peeled away the uh, media, didn't see any denim in that cavity. Let's get a closer look. That is definitely controlled expansion as two of my marks were nearly identical. The average is .653. After rinsing out the media between the pedals and what few denim threads were down in the cavity, retained weight is 230.6. You may recall what I said at the beginning of the video regarding Hornady's uh, controlled expansion out to one and a half times the diameter of the original bullet. I said it's going to go more than that. Well, I was wrong. This performed, in the sense of expansion at least, exactly as it was designed to do. Very, very close to the maximum of what it was striving to achieve, at least in this test. Very little denim in the hollow point cavity. I didn't see any evidence of jacket separation. Uh, again, controlled expansion, nearly 15 inches of penetration. If you're looking for 45 ACP that you want to expand three quarters of an inch or greater, because you're more than halfway there already, 
This is probably not the one that's going to do it, but all things considered, this seemed to do well in this test. Thanks for watching.